Hey, welcome back to Linux Network. Today I've got something to say that honestly pisses me off and it may save you from making the same mistake I did. I just got permanently banned from Call of Duty. Not for cheating, not for exploiting, not for being toxic. I got banned because I dared to play it on Linux. And I'm not joking. So here is exactly what I did. I'm on PicaOS which is based on Debian. Clean install, nothing weird going on. I used Battles to run Battle.net Launcher and inside that I launched Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, a pretty old game. All of it using GE Proton 10-10. No modes, no overlays, no tools, no cheats. Just me testing the game like I do with every other title I talk about here on the channel. I've done this before with other games like the Finals, Frackpunk and others and never had a problem. But Call of Duty, all different story. After a match, everything seemed fine, no crashes, no lag, <laughs> game run better than in Windows. Then, the next day, I tried to log in and boom, permanently banned. No warning, no soft ban, no explanation in the launcher, just an email saying, your account has been permanently banned for unauthorized software and manipulation of game data. And that's it, lifetime ban across all current and future Call of Duty titles, just like that. Of course, I filed an appeal. I explained I am on Linux, that I use Bottles, Proton and that I didn't cheat. I even told them I run a YouTube channel where I cover Linux gaming and that I was just testing the game out. But here is the thing. Their appeal form has no option to upload screenshots. I couldn't even attach proof of my system. No new fetch, no system logs, nothing. And their response? Ban confirmed, case closed, this decision is final. They didn't care, they didn't even pretend to care. Let's be honest here, this isn't about game data manipulation. This is about their anti-cheat system Ricochet freaking out because it sees Proton or Wine and flags it as suspicious. They see Linux and they treat it like malware. Even if you're clean, even if you're just playing normally, no proof, no reviews, just your band goodbye. And that's why I'm making this video. Because if you're using Linux and you try to play Call of Duty, especially through Battle.net with Battles or Wine, you're putting your account at serious risk. Doesn't matter how clean you are, doesn't matter how legit your setup is. If you're not running Windows, you're rolling the dice. And Activision, they don't care if they get it wrong. Now compare that to what Valve is doing. They build Proton, they support the Steam Deck, they're trying to make gaming more open and accessible. Activision on the other hand, they don't even acknowledge Linux exists, unless it's to ban you. You know what's wild? I actually bought the game, didn't pirate anything, didn't mess with any files and still got treated like a cheater just because I use a different OS. So here is my advice. If you're on Linux, stay the hell away from Call of Duty. Don't even try it, don't benchmark it, don't test it for fun. Because you'll get flagged by Ricochet eventually and when that happens they'll shut you down with zero explanation. And once you're banned, that's it. No appeal, no proof, no mercy. And to Activision, if you're watching this, you're not, but still, you banned a legit player using the same tools Valve supports in Steam. I didn't cheat, I didn't abuse anything, I just run your game on Linux. And your response? A big F you. You can't keep treating Linux users like criminals. It's lazy, it's ignorant, and it's unacceptable in 2025. Anyway, I'm done with Call of Duty for good, but I'm not done testing games on Linux. I'll keep showing you which titles run well, which ones to avoid and who's actually trying to support the open source community and who's not. So yeah, if this video helped you dodge a bullet or just want to support honest Linux coverage, hit that like, maybe subscribe and feel free to share it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.